Tell me when. Gone. Good. Go. Yo, 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 it's your boy Jet. Oh my god, that's so bad. So cringe. We're not doing that. Alright, so this is our video for Ash. Uh, a little share factory tutorial. A couple of things you might want to do before though is go into settings here. Um, go down to sharing and broadcast. Then video clip settings and length of video. So here you want you can set your clip length so every time you touch the share button it'll record for a different amount of time when you set it here. I set mine for 15 minutes which is basically like two Crucible games. Um, you can set it to 30 if you want. Bear in mind like the longer you have it the longer the clips look you're going to import in. Um, and then the only other thing you want to consider is going into your capture gallery here. I mean I haven't got anything saved because I've deleted them all off but you'll probably have loads there. So in here you can click on uh, press options on the, each video. You'll probably have a ton. And then go down to information. And then in this box with win, I've just pressed X to enter that. There'll be a massive long number. If you press square and delete all that number, you can type in like, let's say a Dawnblade snipe or a quick scope. Just title each video for what you actually want to show because that will help for later on. Um, and then let's get into it. So share factory. It's all super simple. It's mainly X and square. They're the only two buttons you're really even going to need to use. Um, so start new project. Now these, all these uh, games up here, they're actually pre-set intros and outros. So let's say Destiny 2, I'll click that one. If you see these four here, they've got a blue tick mark. They're the ones, if I press square now for start project, they're the clips that are going to be imported into our project in Share Factory. So I don't want that outro. So I'm going to press X, get rid of it. Destiny outro, get rid of. Destiny title, get rid of. I'll keep the Destiny intro just to show you what it's like when it goes in. So you press square when you're ready to get started. You can rename it if you want. And this is the um, intro, the preset intro. Look, And there's different ones you can choose, as you can see in that other thing. So if you press R2 it will play in real time. Like that's what the people that you're gonna show the video off to, that's what they're gonna see. So once it gets to that, you wanna press X. X brings up this menu. So basically X is the add in option. So you, you have an option there to add in clip, add a screenshot, a track to, which is just if you wanna record your voice over it or your face like talking. And then obviously add music, which you'll need a USB for. Um, if you have a USB, uh, you need to plug it into a laptop or PC and you need to create a folder inside the USB uh, titled PS4 and then create another folder inside that called Share Factory and then another folder inside that called Music and then you can make another one of video and then another one of images. Um, and then when you're saving your music, you save it into that. Otherwise the PS4 just can't read what um, what's on the stick. So let's go ahead and add a clip. So I'm going to press X. Now that brings us back to this. And this is essentially your capture gallery. So these are all like things that I've made and like put it in before. So we'll go down to that, the one that I've titled win. Press X. That sets up that blue tick mark. And then square to add clip. Now that adds it into your project here. So you've got your intro that you chose. Then... It leads into the clip. Now, normally, if you've got it set up for 15 minutes, say you've got two games of PvP saved, normally what I tend to do is I'll hit a really good clip and then I'll press the share button. So with that in mind, you'll want to scroll all the way to the end. Now, I'm using the touchpad on my controller to scroll like you can scroll really fast with it just by flicking your thumb one way or the other. Um, so scroll all the way to the end and you're going to find the clip that you want. Um, now this is only a two minute clip because it's just a full guys like from the menu but like as you can see at the start this is all like the load from the title um, so you want to cut that out so now we won't be pressing X we're going to be pressing square so I'm going to scroll along to the right part of the video so probably where we see the numbers uh, right so here you go so we've got three so I'll press squ square here and that brings up this menu now this is all your trimming tools and this is like the editing software of uh, Share Factory. Um, time bender, so on each of these things it's all about pressing X to confirm. So 
you can speed up the clip or you can slow it down um, and then press circle to come out. So the main thing you want to be doing is split clip. So I'll press X to split clip and that brings you here. Now the clip hasn't been split yet. It's just taking you into the splitting tool. So you press X again and that brings up that message. So each time you're going to do something, whether it's deleting a clip, uh, splitting a clip, you'll have that message. And as soon as you confirm it, then it's done for sure. Um, now, a point to bear in mind, once the clip's split, you can't actually see, like if I was to publish this, you wouldn't be able to see where it's split. It, it, that's just for you, for editing. So all of the garbage load, I'll now press square on. And that brings up that menu again. So I obviously want to delete the garbage, get rid of that. So that brings me to the point like I want to show you the start of the race. So I'm scrolling along with my uh, touchpad. You can use the analog stick as well, I think, but it doesn't work as good. Yeah, you can use the right stick, but it's pretty like um, imprecise. So I like using the touchpad, it's really handy. Um, you can also use the D-pad, like if you want to do frame by frame, like, it, like you can hold the D-pad down and it goes fast, or you can like tap it and it goes frame by frame really slowly. Um, so I'm back on the touchpad now, showing you like the, the rest of the race. So we're gonna jump over here and that'll, that's ended. So normally you say you've hit a clip in the middle of a game and you wanna include that. You'll need to cut out the back half of the video. So it's the same process. You're gonna click X here. You're gonna snip that. And then you're gonna delete this part. So you just scroll over, just make sure like sometimes if you're here and you're in a rush and you're not paying attention, you'll hit square to like thinking that you're deleting this part, but actually it will delete that whole part. So just make sure you're like when you're deleting that you've just scrolled on and you're actually deleting the part that you want to delete. So again, press square, delete that, gone. So that's that part. And then if I wanted to add another clip, I'm going to press X again, X on add clip again. We're back into here. Let's say we want to add, add an outro. So there's a Destiny 2 outro there, or there's a different one there. Each one, well, those two are five seconds. Look, there's a third one. Up. That's an intro, actually. Um, so press X on that. That brings up the blue tick. Then square to add it in. And that's that then. And then you can press R2, and that plays it in real time. So the intro goes dark into that. Now you can add like transitions as well, um, which is in here. And that was the square button. No, that was the X button. So to, to add, press X, like I said earlier. Now these are all like preset. So like these ones are cinematic with like the PlayStation symbols, you don't really want that. You want something like a wipe. And then like, so these are like the directions that it, it'll move. So let's say, and then that adds that like th that triangle thing. So at the end of that, instead of it going black, it just like goes from one to the other. And you can play around. There's so many in there. You can just play around. And if you don't want it, you can scroll back onto it and press square. And then you can edit transition and then delete it if you don't want it or you can replace it. But you don't even have to do that. Like going from this to this, like that's perfectly fine for like a, your first video kind of thing. Um... And then, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So a square for all of the tools, bring it up, and then X to confirm. And then, like, the only other one you might want to do is move clip. So you can click on that. And then, so you scroll onto the one you want to want to move. And then you can press R1 to move it to the right, like, towards the end of the video. Or you can press L1 to move it, like, closer to the start but yeah i think that should get you going dude like any uh, any um any more help just send me a message man i can easily just make up another video or send you a message whatever nice man enjoy, enjoy.